I'm recording. Whoa, I remembered this time. How's everybody doing? Horrible. Horrible? Why horrible? I went to the orthodontist earlier today. Oh yeah? I put something in my mouth and I can barely open my mouth and my teeth hurt. That sucks. Tooth pain is terrible. I had a retainer, like a bite plate once, hooked over my teeth, and then I had braces for a whole year, which actually is pretty short. Yeah, same. Yo, what's up? What's up, Leo? Does your teeth, do your teeth hurt? Yeah. What? My teeth? Uh, I think it's Matthew whose teeth hurt. Yeah, my teeth hurt. Oh, is it? No, 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 we're just, talking about, we're just talking about how people's day has, have been, and Matthew's day was horrible because he got, he went to the orthodontist and they put stuff on his teeth and now they hurt. Oh, okay, okay. I was like. So I was asking you how your teeth were. Yeah. <laughs> One second, I'll be back. Yeah. Okay. What is this? Is this blank canvas? No. Uh, Daphne's here. Excited. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Put the brush over the. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm gonna mute people so that I have a. I don't have a background chorus of chatting, um, but you're all welcome to join in. Is today Good. quiz day? I did make a quiz today. <laughs> it's also basics day, so I'm gonna be polling the audience. I'm just gonna go over the basics day itinerary, see if there's anything anyone wants to review. If people are all caught up on the basics, then we'll. We jump. need to know your floor by today. It's four twenty-six. We got it yesterday. Really? Who got it? Yeah, Andrew got it. Everyone applaud oh, really? Andrew. Yeah, he guessed it right. Hey, Andrew. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Oh. Thank you for okay. reminding me. I need to say, I live on floor 26. You still don't know a building I live in, so I feel pretty safe, but <laughs> it is floor 26. Guys, next thing, which street does she live on? Hmm. I will not be answering that question. Uh, if you guys want to see what the view from floor 26 looks like, I have it here. Oh, I need to let somebody else in. Everybody needs to see how, how scary it is to be tipped over the edge of an apartment building. <laughs> oh! 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 I have that a nice, scary. nice little view, I think. The pool over oh there is green. Oh, I, I live on. Do you live in Midtown? Uh, I live pretty downtown. Oh. And what floor do I live on? Do you live on the on in a house which has like two floors? <laughs> no. Yeah, I have a question, Miss McLaughlin. What's up, Andrew? I live on floor yeah. 15. Hold on, but you know, like when you when you take an elevator up to like a uh, high levels, like. Yes. Do, sometimes your ears hurt. Like my ears pop every time I go up or down the escalator or elevator oh, because, in my building. Because it's very high up. Oh. Oh. Hello, Leo. Anyway, for I did Minecraft actually remember to report, report today. I the chat is dead. I remember to record today, so these this will be put on YouTube, uh, allegedly, <laughs> eventually. Wait, did you make quiz day? Uh, I did make a quiz. So it's also oh, a basic yeah. day. So we're gonna review and then we're gonna go to the quiz. Uh, can we also, also what's up? Can we also do a quiz? Yes, we can also do a quiz. As I was saying, I'm gonna double check if everyone's uh, wants to review anything like for loops, if statements, shapes, colors, anything like that. Yeah, this, if everybody's should, caught up. Hmm? Yeah, this should be half quiz and half basics day. That's basically, yeah, what it's going to be. <laughs> don't be annoying. Don't bully people. You'll get kicked out. Uh, this is classrooms for everybody, regardless of skill level. Uh, today, we're going to be spending a little extra focus on people who are just brand new, uh, but anyone can ask any question. And please don't talk over people. Be aware and nice to other people when they're speaking. Thank you. All right, let's check out um, what basics is up. Excuse me. Charlie. What's up? Um, I have a question. What's your question? Um, so I was just doing the BMW logo, mm -hmm. um, and I did everything right, but the BMW logo is, yeah. like, at the bottom left. Like, I can see the, the, the letters, but I can only see, like, just the Do you know bar. your username? Or I can take your Matthew actual... Matthew Oh, hi, you're back. <laughs> That's not his fault. Uh, BMW logo, IDE, ooh, yes, I see. <laughs> the code 
is wrong. Oh, apparently. We've got, okay. Draw letters, rotate, rotate, okay. Hi. Hi. Huh. That's intriguing. Stroke, stroke weight, okay. I'm just going to do a quick double check. Fill, color black, ellipse, fill, ellipse, fill. Yeah, that should, that's, that's very, very weird. We've got translate. What's our translate up with? It could be that there's a glitch with the actual hatch system. What I'm going to do is just go here, scale 0 0.5. See what that does. Ooh, interesting. Uh, we're going to translate. And I'll move it to the right. Huh. Interesting. It moved the logo, but not the letters. Six font, text size, text, translate. It looks a bit smaller. Right. No letters was the yeah. column before draw shapes. Before draw shapes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll change draw letters to after. There we go. But when I did that, it and did smaller hmm. because she did scale. Oh, there we go. All you had to do was call. We just had them called in the wrong order. Ooh. So you had draw letters uh, and then draw shapes. And if you notice, uh, draw letters has translate in it. Translate shifts the whole code all around. There's like really, really faint BMW up there. To see it a little better, I will throw in a background. Do you guys like my view? It's a beautiful sky. I know. So anyway, all the issue is to just, all you yeah. have to do is put it back. Alternatively, you could call reset matrix. And that's, but it would still cover up the letters. <laughs> So I guess you you don't you that's not really a valid option. You do actually have to call them in the right order. And now that that's been sorted out, I will leave you to fix that. Uh, okay. uh, I have a question. What's up? Can you use triangles in for loops? Yes. Triangles in for loops, like make a bunch of triangles. Yeah, like using the for yeah. loop. Yeah. Yeah. You How can. do you do that? You. Um, well, here's an idea. Like if you have the variable i, what, wh where do you put it? On the x or? Okay, so if you were going to go for var, I'm going to start with ellipses just so I can see what you're, what you're going for. Uh, I plus plus. So if I'm going to set the fill to be gray and I'll make an ellipse. Do you want to use i in the location of the ellipse? Like, are you I trying just to make want them go? Yeah, I just want my triangles to be like in in a like a line, a horizontal a line, line okay. and be separated like. So we did like I times ten. We're on real one hundred fifty fifty. Let's see what this does. So okay, that's not it's not far. Enough. Yeah, I can. Sp I know how to space them out and stuff. Yeah, but, like, but that this is know. the thing you're trying to do, except with triangles. Yeah. Okay, so I would do is make a function that draws a triangle bar try equals function and give it an x and a y location like as past parameters and then when you draw your triangle base them on x and y i'm going to assume that x and y are the center of the triangle and when i draw it i'm going to draw it like the, my first triangle in the exact center of the screen so I'm going to assume x and y are 200 and i want my three points in my triangle to extend Pa like around 200, 200. Um, oh. Let me see if I get it on. So I'm going to design a triangle that takes these two numbers represent the center of the triangle. And when I design my triangle, I will base it around the numbers 200, 200. So I'm going to say, Can we, do a quiz? we are going to do a quiz. Yes. Uh, just answering this question first. Can I post it in the chat? Sure. Uh, follow the you type in the number in the chat to a quizzes, <laughs> quiz to join a quiz that I have no part in making. I'm just going to whip this up real quick. Triangle. Uh, I'm going to say if X is 200, then maybe we want the base to be, how, how tall do you want your triangle to be? Just like five pixels, six pixels. Okay, that's interesting. 
So let me go X Because I'm drawing them over a fence, five. kind of like pointy fence yeah. edges. X minus 2.5, um, Y minus 2.5. So that's going to be this corner. Are you doing challenge too? Now I'll do X, oh, Y, minus, what's up? Are you trying to do basic house challenge too? Me? No. Tame? I'm talking, yeah, I'm talking yeah. about the tape. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so let me see if this works. I'm going to do fill. I'll uh, make it red because it's a good color. And call try, position 200, 200, see what it looks like. Is oh, everybody? that's very tiny. Is everybody ready to start the quiz? Because, like, I'm going to start x minus 5, y plus 5, x plus 5. Oh, this um, needs to be. Excuse me, is everybody ready to start the quiz? Is there anybody still waiting to join this alleged quiz? How do I get there? Q-U-I-Z, spell quiz, I-Z-Z. -Z. There's, some, there's something going on in the chat. Click join the game. And then type in the number in the chat. Okay. Yeah, I see it. I'm reading. I was yes. actually um I was a bit late. Dog. Have it in the chat. Who's late? Uh, Ethan. Ethan is late. Well, I'm glad you're here now. So, uh, if people keep telling each other that they suck in the chat, the people who have used the word suck or who cares about you in their messages will be forced to leave because I have the magic wand that kicks people out. It's called a mouse and I will use it to kick you out. Uh, Lionel Messi, this is your last warning. Don't be rude to people or you will have to leave. Um, that was Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, somebody said, but I'm better. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, like, who doesn't I don't know... like that person either. To anybody who doesn't know, Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi are on opposite teams and like yeah, you can only like one of them, apparently. Well, there will be no squabbles in my chat. I don't care if it's about <laughs> sports. There's, there's, legends. there's the legends. There's the legends in your chat. How would you love to kick them out? Have you watched? Messi and Chris yeah, I hear you. I hear you, Leo. Chat. Somebody else is trying to talk. Have you watched Barbie? Oh. Have I watched what? Barbie. Barbie? Which Barbie? Because I've watched a lot of Barbie. Um, the one, uh, I think it's like Go Team Roberts. It's like new. Oh, I no, I haven't it. watched that one. And um, there's actually um, like an episode, and it's like they're watching an episode. And it's like, you know, it, there's a game show, and it's like the motto is like, while turkeys gobble, we squabble, squabble, squabble. That's, that's real weird. Uh, quick detour to introduce you to my I don't want any squabble my giant Barbie collection. Wait, you uh, you've seen the mermaid one? I've seen multiple mermaid ones. Oh, I've seen that one too. This is the best one. Don't at me. Okay. This is the best one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but this is a coding webinar. I was pretty sure. When I woke up this morning, I didn't think, huh, are we going to have a Barbie movie marathon? You know, I'm pretty sure we're going to have a coding webinar. So <laughs> right now you've been able to see the basics list of potential questions that basics people might, oh my goodness. So don't, okay, don't fight with each other, please. No squabbling, no gobbling. Okay, the game's about to begin. <laughs> have fun with that. Is anybody having trouble logging in? Probably not, but speak now. Is anybody trying to log in? Excuse Everybody, me. What's up? I'm um, sorry. Um, so I it says your quiz name is, and then I put my name. Do I press start game? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, everybody know how to get to challenges. I hope so. If you don't, maybe. Open up your ring. This is Harry Potter. Yeah, this is a Harry Potter quiz. <laughs> it's not even no. coding. <laughs> Wait, even That's why I made a disclaimer that I'm, I'm not involved with that quiz. Anyway, get to challenges. Because if you look at your dashboard, you can see that you need both project points and challenge points to level up. 
uh, to the get The fact that mildly mouths have a higher level of Wait, what? You want to know why that is? Why? Because I spend an hour every day teaching you guys. If I spent that hour every day working on projects, then I would be a higher level. Oh. It doesn't reflect my knowledge. It reflects how much time I have to spend working on my own knowledge. Can you teach me privately? No. You have to pay for oh, that. Come on. I'm still level three. Well, it comes with a dedicated... If you get a dedicated subscription, you can request me as your coach. But that's literally a price package in Hatch is to have a one-on-one -on -one coach. It doesn't anyway. like so many God, why, 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 why? Because why? we're a business why? and we need to make money. Uh, I, like, I went up to level 10 without a coach. A yeah, line. you should be able to do it. Because you've got this research manual. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I, I went up to level 13. It's, like, cool. You guys well, know what I'm looking at? My battery's dying. My battery. Your battery's dying. What am I looking at? Is anybody still listening to me, or is everyone playing the Harry Potter quiz? Harry Potter. <laughs> I'm still listening. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. <laughs> this is the Hatch Reference Manual, and if you don't understand something and you're like, oh, I wish I had a teacher, because Brenda never answers my questions in the <laughs> webinar, you can go on here and say, what's a text? This is a text. What are these numbers here? The X and Y position of the start point of the text is even color-coded for you. Wait, the game just ended. Game ended? Okay, well, I don't. I didn't do it. If you're like, right. how do I make an object? How do you make an object? Let's go find objects. Mm -hmm. It's in here. Here's a couple different ways. You can read all about it. And if that's still not enough information, you can Google it. Uh, what is an object JavaScript? Ah, oh, there's so many resources. And you can read them. There's Geeks for Geeks is usually good. You can read a whole online textbook. On, on what objects are. So it's sometimes nice to have somebody tell you directly what something is. You can also go to the uh, research manual, but oh, I closed it. I don't have it anymore. How do I get back? I didn't mean to close it. I totally did mean to close it. But <laughs> if I didn't, how would I get back? A chew. A chew? Yeah. It's not going to help me very much. Just bookmark it. Nice. You can go to this button here. It looks like a book. It says Sorry, research. I just sneezed. <laughs> I know I was using you. Uh, research. And then it gives you all sorts of stuff. You can go through these one by one until you get to the reference manual, or you can just click on the one that says Hatch Reference Manual. People get to this page and they're like, where do I go? This isn't a textbook. No Look at the words. Read the words with your eyeballs. Is Project Image Library going to be the reference manual? Probably Ready? not. Getting Started Guide does bring you to a lot of cool resources, which it'll also take you to the reference manual. But why did an extra click? What's up? They didn't change this video. It's still the same old one. <laughs> yeah, it's still the old one. And there's yeah. someone pretending to be me. Okay. I don't think that'll kill you. I know, but... Uh, Identity theft like, is a real like, issue, Jim. <laughs> Millie has a family suffer every year. Sorry, the office is so dated. Look out the Leo. Oh, he, he changed. He changed. Good <laughs> job. You were very really scared, um, weren't you? What's up? Uh, I put another quiz. Someone's trying to ask a question. Oh, oh, yeah, I needed this, help this with this time. It's like a real one. It's was it like Layla who was trying to ask a question? No, it was Gita. Gita, ask your question. Yeah, I need help with cannon fire. I'm doing one of the challenges. Okay. Rad. I'll that take a look. Me, actually. Okay, who else? Anyone else have a question? Yeah, I What's up? I need a, I also need to help with cannon fire. With cannon fire? Okay. I was just pulling this up because this is where all the uh, videos get posted, including tutorials on how to use Hatch Platform. So even though this one is old, there are more resources on the YouTube. I followed you on TikTok. On TikTok? Nice. <laughs> well, actually, nice. you know how I said I need to help with Cannon Fire? Yes. Like, I'm the biggest supporter. I, like, for, like, for Cannon Fire, I've actually, like, done all the challenges. So, like... One sec. I'm going to mute everybody so there's no... Nobody's crying. Uh, but please uh, unmute yourself and continue asking your question. I 
TikTok is an app. Yes, it's true. TikTok is an app. Uh, okay, so everybody knows how to do challenges, submit challenges, submit projects, use the help button, use the research manual. What's the help button? Do you guys have ever, you guys ever used the help button before? It's right here. It's pink. You can send a text message to coaches, but keep it appropriate, please. Because I got an email about rain on a windshield. Yep, that was from me. And I will get back to you on that. So a lot of ground to cover. So when did Edward stop releasing the devil? What does that mean? There's a baby crying in the background. I think that's what they're talking about. Oh. Anyway, this will send a message directly to the coach team. You can say, help me, I'm stuck. It's better if you say, like, what the actual problem is. I'm trying to get it to be read. How do I do that? But sometimes you don't always know what's wrong. <laughs> That's true. Sometimes you can just go, I'm stuck. I had one student go, I am so confused, and then submitted that for every single project she was working on. That's not yeah. helpful. <laughs> well, I do. If I have, like, nothing specific to say, I just hit the get help button. I don't say, I'm yeah. so confused. You can just submit it, it'll just say Anyway, that's how you use all that. Colors and shapes, order of functions. Sorry? What happens when school restarts? I just say uh, help. Nothing changes when school restarts. This yes. But, but what if our schools go on to like 3.20 or 4? We can talk about changing the webinar time. That That's a, that's doable. Oh. Uh, if everybody's oh, in school at 3. Like, oh, you could change like, times like that? Yeah, I'm the one who decides what the time is. Oh, I thought, I thought it was... Oh, my, my school ends at about nine oh, uh, no, five o'clock. Yikes. What? Well, we'll take a poll eventually. What to, and I'll, it'll won't, it won't be just like an informal Zoom poll. It'll be like a bigger one and I'll be accepting answers. Can someone that has a driver's license try to do a 98 point turn? How many people in this call do you think have a driver's license? I do. Because my guess is one. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's actually true. Zero! And actually, Brenda has a driver's Yeah, I have a driver's license. license. I do. You have one a driver's license? Have a driver's but do you license? have a car? No, because I live in Toronto. I, get a car. I did total a car, though. I got in an accident, and the car was really old, so it was beyond repairing. Not because I got into a super bad crash, because it was really old. Wait, did you hear a crane crash? Uh, no. Wait, what? You didn't hear about it? I've heard about planes crashing. I haven't heard about no, oh, crane. crane crash. Crane. crane crash. Like the I construction think... cranes that one tipped over. I've heard that. Oh, I didn't hear about that. No. What? It's, really? it's, it happened in Toronto. Yeah, what's an alpha in coding? It's a transparency. transparency. Are you guys following that? Is ever? I want to know that everyone in this uh, call is following that alpha means transparency. If you have any doubts about that whatsoever or confusion, ask up. It's when you make a shape, if you want to be transparent. A great example is four many color circles. Four many color, ah! And the color values are red, green, and blue in that order. So I have zero red, zero green. Excuse me. What's up? Y you know how I said I needed help in cannon fire? Yes. I actually needed help in low poly fire. Okay, cool, I will remember that. Thank you. Coordinate grid. Do y'all know how to use coordinate picker? Yeah. Yeah. Coordinate picker. What are these two numbers? First number is the x position. The second number is the y position. Red. And you can access them with mouse x, mouse y. That's the x and y of your uh, cursor. <clears throat> if you want to change it, mouse x, if you want to like add 50 to it, you add 50 on the end. You don't change it to mouse 50. You would not believe how many times I've seen that. Actually? Yes. People going like mouse or mouse Z or mouse 50 or mouse <laughs> B or mouse plus 100. And yeah. I'm just like, no, mouse X is the number. The number is mouse X. That's a word that means a number. <laughs> What's up, Layla? Oh, no. You accidentally deleted that thing. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. What's up, Layla? Oh, nothing. I was just seeing what the race had. Oh, yeah. Well, it it give, brings you to my attention. Oh, what ma mouse says... What, what does the yes and no button do? 
uh, if I were to say, hey, do you guys want me to talk about for loops? No. Then I would wait for you to press the yes or no button. Oh. Okay. It's just an option. Uh, I'm gonna, <laughs> so I'm not really asking. If statements, let's review if statements. No. No, yeah, I know. Who here, is there anybody who hasn't used an if statement yet? Me, I guess. Um, no, I've used it in one of my projects. It's like an do you if know statement what it project. does? What does yeah. an if statement even do? It makes a number a bigger. Code it's like if that you, have you are a chicken, you have to jump. So no. I've heard... It's, it's, it's a condition. It's a condition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me combine all those thoughts together. Uh, but you're on the right track. You, it's a choice. It multiplies something. No, it does. No, it doesn't a, multiply a, something. Oh, oh, if statement. I thought that. If oh, statement. Yeah. Hair conditioner. <laughs> okay, it doesn't condition your hair. If statement has three parts. First one is the word if. If you know how to write the word if, you're a third of the way to making an if statement. Then it's got the condition, and then it's got the code. And I will go over this. A condition is something that can be true or false. Somebody give me a statement that can be true or false. Banana is true. What? If banana is true, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Maybe we have a variable named banana, and it's equal to true. Var equals true. Is that so can, we, can we do banana equals two plus two? Okay. If, if banana, banana equals, equals two four. plus two. No, 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 like declare a variable var banana equals two plus two. Oh. And then bana if banana equals four. Then okay, so what do we want to do when bananas for? Uh, Make a yellow screen. chicken. Have a yellow screen. Hi. Somebody said yellow. I heard yellow, and then I also heard circle. So I'm gonna do a yellow circle. Can you draw a banana? Uh, not sure. I think that would take a lot of time. Yellow. Okay. But then if we change this to three plus two, ah, oh, it's no longer true. So it doesn't work anymore. What we can do, maybe we want to do something else. else. Yeah, let's say, let's give it a, a backup plan. Well, what if banana isn't for? Well, we still want it to draw a circle. Give yeah. me another color. Have a two plus five, two plus five, blue, blue, blue. Have a two plus five, blue, blue, blue. Can you have, um, I have a question. Can you do Miley blue? Uh, I already I got a very excited cyan. So, unfortunately, it's, it's taken. Yay. Uh, so anyway. This is what the computer's thinking. Yes. Okay, what's banana? This is banana. I'm saying, okay, computer, you know what banana is? And the computer says, no. And I say, well, oh, here, I'm going to tell you. Banana is two plus two. Write that down. And the computer says, okay. And it goes, banana is two plus two. And then I'm going to say, okay, computer, is banana equal to four? And it goes, what's banana? Oh, I wrote it down. That so goes, it looks two plus two. Is two plus two equal to four? Yeah. Why, yes, it is. Maybe. So it goes does this it but goes into this wrong. part of the code except, when it hits this except it does it faster <laughs> it does it a lot faster yes but you guys can't think as fast as computers so i'm explaining it very slowly uh and it just skips this part I it, it doesn't question. matter what's up i have a question who coded um, who coded like who coded javascript who uh, it's Brendan, I. It took him only twelve or ten days. What? Known as Mocha. What? It takes people more than ten days to make a project. Not necessarily. It it, it takes. Well, if this is my project, it's just like a really seconds. long. No, it feels like a really <laughs> long project with thousands of lines. Not yeah. necessarily. Well, like, yeah. Every every project's going to be different. Uh, so, but I think it's still safe to say that it's impressive um, that it took him 10 days. Leo, we know you're jihad. Well, maybe like <laughs> Somebody's <master> doppelganging jihad. <laughs> maybe he's like a master coder. That's, that's why it was so easy for him to code in 10 days. Because, like, it takes us, like, two years or three years to learn, like, the whole code. Yeah. Well, he apparently already knew how to code in Dang. a different language. Uh, but uh, if banana... Can I? Yeah. Can I, hey, I won the Harry Potter quiz. If it's hey. right, it's blue. Yes. Yeah. So if if so if it's wrong, if this ends up being false, it jumps to Plan B. It doesn't even look at this. I can put a a different situation. 
and say, uh, maybe it's not four, but if banana is equal to five, then I want to make it red. I'm just going with red all the time. Maybe I'll make it magenta just for fun, just make it three uh, secondary colors. How does Voldemort do after he talks to the hero to appreciate it? Miss Brenda? Yes. Is there a way to still have your shape in the, like in the first oh. statement without like changing it, but like the fill only changes? Mm hmm. It makes Harry feel a little better about those things. So, like if you. Right. Okay, never mind. All right, wait. Okay. Yeah, that's actually a, a more efficient way to do it. Uh, you would only put the shape, like, it would only be, like, reasonable to put the shape in here if you wanted it to be different shapes, depending. Like, it'll work if you put ellipse in here. That's why we say there's an infinite number of ways to solve the problem. Because you can do it that way, or you can do it this way. Or you can say var color equals color, and then set it to a fill color, and then reassign fill, reassign color, and then replace the fill with color. There's infinite ways to make this code work. Yeah. Um, all right, for loops. Who's used a for loop? Yeah, thanks, Jihad. Thanks you for firing me. Leo, do you want to run the webinar? Yeah. <laughs> No, I wasn't saying you could. I was asking if you want to. The no, spell, Brenda, I, I think Sherry knows how to spell the word fired. <laughs> What's up, first? I'm just asking a question. The webinar. The webinar. Uh, I will Are you asking a question or Tank? Um, is this somebody asking a question? Yeah. What's up? Wait, I think Brenda got fired, guys. No, Leo, it's not your turn to talk. No, that was you, Leo. I oh, no! Somebody has a question. Who has a question for me? Um, can we do, um, like, are we almost done? Or, um, yes, we're <laughs> almost done. Like, so I'll to review four sorry, loops after this. I didn't want to be, like, rude, but... No, no, I'm not offended. That was very polite. Very Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, four loop is our last thing. Uh, four loop. What's a four loop? Who knows what a four loop is? A four loop? A four loop? A Yes, it repeats code. That's all you really need. Repeat some code. Uh, four, same thing. That's it. Gets set up the exact same way as an if statement. You know, if is like if brackets brackets. The same thing for the for loop. Uh, the word for or if is telling it how to treat the stuff inside this bracket here. Um, so we're gonna teach you how to count. This part, var i equals zero, is where it starts. It doesn't have to be i, it can be anything. Var leo equals zero. Uh, and it'll keep counting until leo is hey. equals to 400, or 10, let's say 10. Uh, leo plus plus. Does anyone know what leo plus plus means? What did I do? Leo starts at zero. You increment a number by one. Yeah. Bingo. Make Leo one plus one number. <laughs> so it's gonna be zero. Then it's gonna do the. Yeah. Leo then it's gonna plus check. Three, well, yeah. it's gonna do the. It's gonna I look at the number, right. see if it's less than ten, and if it is, it's gonna do the code. Then it's gonna make Leo, Leo one bigger. If it's one still one less than two ten, two it does the code again. So if I do like ellipse, random, 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 four hundred. I know there's sirens. There's always sirens. Uh, 50, 50. So this will make 10 no, circles in random sense. places. So it'll go 0 is less than 10, so there's a circle. And then it makes it 1. 1 is less than 10, makes another circle. Congratulations, 2 is less than 10, makes a circle, and does that to 10, 10 times. Any questions about for loops? Everyone has yes. hired Brenda. Uh, did somebody I say have... yes? Yeah, I do. What's up? No, sorry, I was talking to. Else, okay, that it's okay. There's our four loops. All right, hope you guys are experts because we're gonna do a quiz. <laughs> really? On what? Like stuff. Lots I have stuff. my hand up. Is it, is it called August 6th? Yes, I what's up, Leo? What? I have my hand up. I, and I asked yeah. you what your deal was. <laughs> so Me? Rude. Yes. <laughs> oh, uh, did you know that you're not fired anymore? I did. I heard you talking over me. 
Yeah, I did hear that. It doesn't really mean much though because you don't get to decide whether I have a job or not. So it was but jihad. I'll give you some attention if you if you need it. How are you feeling today? Do you like my cup? I have the uh, fancy cup. Good. <laughs> That's good. It's nice. Uh, what, what's your favorite color, Leo? Orange. Orange is a great color. Who else likes orange? Baba. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the game code. This quiz is on lots of stuff. It has an open-ended question about efficiency. Uh, you get it right automatically. I'm literally just, there is no right answer. There's no wrong answer either. You just, you just answer the way you think. Uh, and you're not getting marked on this, so. Wait, 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 wait. I want to join. Wait, I want to join. I'm not starting it yet. Can you please? Wait. On Dyson Spheres? I don't, no, I don't. Where are those? Ooh. Wait, please. I'm not starting it yet. I just, calm down, chill your horses. <laughs> I'll make it very clear before I start. Yeah, so apparently this is a hypothetical device that can capture the power of a star. Uh, I don't think we're going to do a quiz on those because they're completely hypothetical, first of all. Second of all, they're a vast extrapolation from coding. Uh, also, I don't understand them, so I couldn't make a test on them for you. Um, I uh, So yeah, we're not doing a test on Dyson Sphere <laughs> to answer your question. Somebody guess made their who, name the game. Guess code. who I am in the quiz? Um, Andrew Ruda will get last. You skateboard? No, that's me. I'm actually Andrew Ruda. That's me. It's hi, hi YouTube. Hi YouTube? No. You're a you're, yeah, boy. No, he's no. that. He's that thing. He has the camera logo. No, 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 no. He is Miley. No. Oh, okay. He is <laughs> Miley. He has the FBI open up. No, that's my room five. Yeah, that's you then. No. Um. I guess see, what skateboard. Else? Did you answer to skateboard? skateboard? No. Yeah, boy. Are you guys ready to start? I'm yes. dot dot dot. Oh, okay, bye. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Wait, you're kicking me out? Oh, no. I'm oh. joking. Who's yeah, boy? I don't know. Me. Okay, so it was there's a reason you can't see the code. It's uh, not showing any. Uh, oh, the game code. Okay, you're ready. You may start the quiz. <laughs> Here is the game code. Uh, sweet. Tori, Anna Maria. Are you joining? Are you still having trouble joining? I wait. Yes, no. Yes, yes. I no, no, no. feel good. Okay, I'm starting now. Uh, you should be able to join midway through, though. So all is not lost. Can you stop here? You think I'm going to sit through all this music? <laughs> all right. I can't announce if nobody's. Uh, so everyone always is like, oh, can you do announcements? I'm going to announce once things get into the swing. Like, there's nothing really to report right now. A bunch of people are tied for third, like <laughs> fifth. So many people are tied for fifth. It's not a very riveting uh, gameplay. I'm going to be calling the person in number one scary face because I don't know what that emoji is called. So scary face is number one, and nobody is second. Hi, hi, hi is third. Hi, YouTube is fourth. Hi, 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 hi is fifth. Skateboard is sixth. OK is seventh. Yeah, boy, and everyone else are, are oh, actually, no. A lot of people are tied. Three people are tied for seven. I'm not going to read that part now. Scary face and nobody are tied for first. Hi, hi, hi is second, and Ruda is third, oh, now fourth. Okay is, oh, things are changing too fast, I can't keep up. Mm -hmm. Scary oh, face is the first one. Hi, 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 has a perfect street so far. <laughs> T-Lol is eighth, but they have a streak of three. Uh, nobody is third, okay is fourth. Hi, 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 hi is fifth. 
H-A-I Daphne is fifth. Sixth is Hi YouTube. The person named Miley, <laughs> the username Miley is seventh. Um, somebody's impostering as me. It's me. Um, yeah, who is dot dot dot? Like, is that in the chat? Is that Miley? Anyway, scary face is still first. Nobody second. Hi, hi, hi is third. Okay is fourth. Hi, YouTube is fifth. Daphne jumped up to fourth place. Brenda. What's up? Could you help me with my cannon fire? Can you also help me with my locally fire? Yes. I believe Geeth asked first? Yeah. Okay. For the cannon. Uh, yeah, I know I you want low poly fire as well. Yeah, but I asked like on Friday and you said we'd do it on Monday. Uh, well, we'll still get to it. The name and the game. Can. Ah! Can fire. I can help with the challenges. I've done all of them. Uh, I want to do the challenge. Um, so when the user pressed the mouse, it to fire the ball. So I made a mouse to press function, but it was clicked. Interesting. <laughs> Does it really work? Yeah. It's yeah. Uh, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a variable. Uh, var fire can equals true. A false. Just kidding. It's false to start with. Yeah, if mouse is clicked, you make it true. Otherwise, it won't get called properly. Fire cannon, then fire cannon ball. Uh, and then when you click the mouse, fire cannon equals true. There. Now it works. <laughs> so what I did. This is fun. Uh, in your mouse clicked function, you can change the flag. Like, okay, now it's time to start the shooting process. And then you only, because this has to be called multiple times. Fire cannonball has to be called like over and over and over and over and over and over and over. But you don't want it calling from the start because you only want it to get called when you click. Uh, so. That's why you have to, the mouse click will tell it when to start drawing a bazillion times. So that's why it's a Boolean variable. Far, false, when you click, it changes to true, and then you only draw it if that variable is true. Thank you. How are you doing with that? Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm good, because I'm going to get rid of it. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I had and not now tried to work Layla. it. Who's winning? Nobody's winning. <laughs> okay. Can you remove me? The dot dot dot. Dot 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 is twentieth place. Can you remove it? Remove it? Yes. Uh, yeah, here's the standings for anyone who wants to see it. Scary face is now third. Fourth, actually. Whoa. Okay, Layla. Your your name in the hatch system is just Layla, right? Yeah. And what's your last initial? R. 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 What? Well, it doesn't want to. Doesn't want to show me you. Uh, what's your actual last name? <laughs> Or if you don't want to give it, uh, give me a link to your project in the chat. Okay. Is this, maybe it's this one. Nope. Did you get it? No, not yet. I haven't seen the link in the chat. Who's first? Who is first? That's a great question. Miley. But like the username Miley, not necessarily like actual Miley. Nobody. 
Well, you know what? Let me just look up low poly fire on its own. Um, excuse me. I actually figured out what was wrong. Oh, you did? Yeah. Low poly fire. Oh, yeah. Cool. So you <laughs> don't even need it to help now. Oh, that's fun. Can I show mine after, like, after I'm doing a challenge right now? Okay, sure. Now we can do that. Uh, I have a question. What's up? I'm Alicia A. How do you spell Alicia? A L I C H A. The Y? No. I'm waiting patiently. I C H A. My duck. Oh, I can't. Did I spell it right? No, it's A L I C H A. This one? Yeah. I swear I heard C. Sorry about that. And I was like, really? But I didn't want to get your name wrong when you no, simply told me. Like, is it? It's Alicia A2. A2. Alicia A2. Huh. Oh, it's, I just wrote Alicia. <laughs> your name isn't Alicia. <laughs> what project? Let's see. Can you scroll down? Yes. It's the, uh, um, it's the, it's Snow Girl. Wait. Uh, that's just a man. All right, what's up? Um, can you go to challenges? I need help with the last one. The last one. Animate snow. Oh, this is a fun one. <laughs> we always talk about animating snow this is a classic project um there is actually a project about snowfall uh, somebody's going a em emoji creator <laughs> all right uh so what oh i can see what level you're at <laughs> seven does anybody know if the project snowfall is available at level seven uh, no, it's oh, the it's uh, okay, so let's see how they want you to do it because I want to see if we can do it without objects. Uh, well, you have to use objects. You have to? No, I think so. Way. There's another way. Just use a border. Yeah, bar snow lake list equals empty array. Create a function that has a position size speed. Is break it down anyway. Snowflake function. Yeah, so this one uses an object as well. Uh, okay, so here, let me just, let me do it a different way. Out of the top of my head, so it might not be perfect. Background, I'm gonna make it a dark blue. And I'm gonna mute everybody. Because, because it's noisy. How are we doing? Anybody still waiting to finish? Yeah, I, I just joined. Okay. Uh, what's your game name? I'm Miley Colon. Miley Colon. Okay, I'll wait for Miley Colon to really? be Really? Someone stole my name again? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to do var draw equals function. Um, oh, but this way... Uh, this way just puts random ellipses on screen, right? Yes. It's less than, let's say 400, because it's a good number. Fill, well, I'll put the fill above. No stroke, fill uh, of white, and we'll do ellipse uh, at a random position, random position, and we'll make it size like five. That didn't work. I need to put the background in the draw function. <laughs> Bam. Snow. Um, but clearly that does not make it fall down to the screen. It just makes it look like jittery. To make it actually fall, you need a snow object. I'm waiting for a I do definitely want to talk about this quiz after we're done it. So to make it the use like this way using objects, we we'll go uh, var 
I like to name my array. Snow, do you know what an array is? Yeah. It's, it's a list, list, right? Yeah. So the array is going to hold all of the snowflake objects. Each snowflake is going to have an X position. Um, I'll make it random across the board. This dot Y equals a random position. I'm going to make all of them spawn above the screen. I'm not going to give it an X or a Y speed. I'm just, or a size. I'm just going to keep it simple. Hey, uh, spammy people. You said he he and then pasted the big long word. I think that's uh, kind of annoying right now to people. So uh, you have been warned. Don't make me kick you out. Cool. Uh, Miley colon is done, so we can end the game. What's up, Uma? Anyone have somebody? People are raising their hands. Do you have a question for me? Yeah. Stop. Hey. Uh, Hi. Hi, sorry. It's Ethan. It's Ethan, sorry. I forgot to change the name. Um, okay. I have a question. What's up? So when can we uh when can I do group projects? Because it wasn't really clear about some of Um You should be able to do them at level three, right? What level okay. are you right now? Oh okay. Level I'm level one. two. I'm almost okay. level three. Level okay. three, I think. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I have a question. Can we do yes. Else? Sure. Who's Ya? Yeah? Who do we think Ya yeah is? It's me. Whoa. Who's Miley lowercase? That's me because someone stole my the one in the <laughs> capital. Who's uh, Colin Miley? That's me. Who's a uh, who's, uh, lo super long word? The things I've had. All right, who's nobody? It's a ghost. <gasps> who's hi, hi, hi? Me, Alex. I'm Sweet, nice to meet you. Four times. Who's scary face? Uh, this is Daphne. I think this person said they were Anaruta. I think this is just Anaruta. Yes, no, maybe so. Who's hi, 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 hi? That's me. Nice to meet you, Tame. <laughs> uh, who's hi, YouTube? Is it Babley? I'm the numbers. All okay. of those bunch of numbers, it's me. Well, you, you passed, so that's awesome. Should I go? Okay. Anybody else want to shout out their name? Can you There's ask? Andrew. Miley, Al, Al Gamer, Tilal. Yeah, I want to know who's that Miley. <laughs> Who's Miley? Come, will the real Miley stand up? That's okay. Uh, da -da. Hey, we can complain two times. No spamming. That was serious. Uh, I'm gonna just go through the questions. What parameters are in function arc? It is x y z type starting ending. Uh, you have to make it 0 0.5 because if you make it 1, then it'll run from 200 to 400, which is a difference of 200. So if you want to make it run double that, you have to go up half a step every time. Uh, this number is the biggest because it's exponent. Who has questions? Uh, me. Sorry, it's Ethan. What's up, Ethan? Um, so I was wondering what TWYS, because like for... Type feed, what you see. Type what you see. Oh, okay. Thank okay. you. Anybody else with a hand raised needs a question answered? Um, people are spamming again. Uh, I removed one of the people. I removed the person with the big pneumono word. This so that person's oh, gone. Yeah. Okay, then, cool. Uh, Feng's iPad dots also counts as spamming if you're doing it a lot. <laughs> I like you. I want you to stay in here. What's up, Leo? So this is an exponent. Two to the exponent of three is eight. This is multiplication. Two times three is six. So eight is bigger. Uh, numbers is the smallest. It's two divided by three because that's two thirds. Uh, who knows what the remainder is when you divide two by three? I know it. What? Should I say it with the decimal point or without? Whatever you want. Okay, well, 
It's 0 0.6666666. It's two thirds. Well, that's not a remainder. That's a decimal. Six, six, seven. A remainder is a whole number. The remainder, is, the remainder is two. Why? Because two doesn't go into three any times. It's not big enough to. There's, you can make zero groups of three with two. But then you just have two left over. So you have zero groups with two left over. So two is the remainder, which is bigger than two thirds. Uh, two thirds is the quotient. Uh, two is the remainder. Uh, what will this code display to the screen? It's four and 42. then two. It's well, there's a space. Yeah, but 42. <laughs> so yeah, when it's a plus sign between two variables, it'll add them together and display that. If you've got a uh, string and anything else, it'll concatenate them. Just push them together. Uh, this code, little sure. chicken. Assuming it is a Boolean variable. The fun part is it doesn't matter what chicken is at the beginning. Let's pretend chicken is true. If chicken is true, it will then become false. Then it goes to this line. If it's false, it changes back to true and it's true. true. What's up? Did get like 100% on this quiz? Uh, I don't know. Yes. Bill. Yay. Or okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> well, I, I tried it four times. My second time, I got it full. That's nice. why. Uh, it really, you could, but you can do it again. You could do it like a lot of yes. times. I did it four times. What? If chicken is false, it skips this one, goes straight to the false one, turns okay. into true. I was just um, true and true is true. Yes, if, for the coding project, I thought it was kind of hard. Yes. And true or false so this yes, simplifies to true hard for true and true is true true or false is also true challenge it's true four. i didn't get how to do that for a basic house it, yeah well we will go over basic house tomorrow then if you like uh if I 10 so this is a boolean variable you can use a boolean variable it's a multiple of 10. it is not necessarily 10 or bigger because it could be zero yeah Zero, the remainder of zero oh, and ten is zero. Cool. Yeah. Uh, what will this code draw? It will draw circle one position circle. 350. Yes, because it increases the x location of the circle a bunch of times. Uh, it doesn't show up each time. This is the difference between if you want to animate the circle to move across, you'd have to use a draw function and increment x in the draw function. Uh, if it adds push, adds an element to an array. Gotham's here. Will this code draw? Nothing. Yes, because you call the function before you end the function. Can't do that. You have to have this underneath the bottom. You have to switch these last two lines. You have to close the picture function and then call the picture function. See, the thing is, like, it didn't show the scrolling button for that thing. So, like, when you just see the code, you're going to think it's a black circle. That's why eight people did black circle. Because it only shows the bar picture up to end, to the ellipse. It doesn't show the whole thing. That's very odd. I don't know how to fix that. Let's check what this shows. That's the fun part about this. We can actually look. Oh, look. It's a wide rectangle in the center. There you go. Most people got that, though. That's nice. Week is a function. It is not a function. Second, millisecond, or millis. Second, day, month, and year are all functions, but week is not. Mm, which function for the solar? Get. And a 3D ob you, you can't. You can take a flat picture of what once was a 3D object and put it in your code. Like, you can look up a picture of a 3D object, but that picture is 2D. It's 2D picture of something in the real world is 3D. You can't like have the computer conceptualize in 3D. I actually yeah. looked it up for this quiz. Uh, you can download a Java extension called 3.js, but in base JavaScript, it doesn't process no. 3D objects. Key code A is not the same as capital A. In other words, JavaScript is not case sensitive. It processes these two symbols differently. Uh, efficient code gets its job done. So it takes up, so it's less confusing. It's less confusing to read. That's a good idea. I don't know our flex tape. So they can have good code. Well, why is efficient yes. code good code? That's what I was asking. Why is efficient code good code? And in what situations? Because they got brain damage with Phil Smith. Me and oh my goodness. 
it will save time. Save time how? Well, will save time for the people coding it or for the computer or both? I wrote that answer and the, and it will save time for the people that are coding it. So no, it will like, make it more simple. Well, then you just cut it. off badly. Badly finish your sentence. Okay. If, if so you like. So if, like, let's say we have a hundred JavaScript projects, which you probably wouldn't ever have. Yeah. You would want to, uh, you have two ways. I either write it super long with like a thousand lines of code each, which would be a lot at the end. Or you could just write it in very few lines of code, maybe 10. Yes. Which one so, would you rather do? For me, I'd do the easy way. Well, the the usually efficient code is less typing. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sometimes the brain power that goes yeah. into making a simpler code takes up more time than just writing it the long way. For example, if statements versus switch cases. Switch cases are more efficient. You're probably still going to use an if, case, if statement because it's easier to remember how to do. So it can, it's faster than the machine. Sometimes it's faster for the person too, not always. But that's a case where you wouldn't use an efficient code. What's up, Ethan? Four o'clock. Yeah, you didn't need to tell me that because I too have a clock. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Uh, it will return it as a string value because it takes this as a value. It stores it there, and you have to convert it from a string to an integer. There you go. This has two dimensions because it, it does have three elements, but there's two levels of arrays. OK, people are free to go. Have a great day, y'all. Uh, see you can next time. Can I ask one last question? Yes, I don't actually have a student after this, so ask me your question. It's about. Bye. Can Bye. I share my screen since Bye. everybody's leaving? Bye. Bye. Sure. Yeah, go for it. Bye. I'm we'll leaving. do the snow tomorrow as well as the. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, Bye. Bye. All right. Bye -bye. So here, I can press buttons to like draw in. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't go over it. That's good. I can press the R button to reset everything. Resetting by putting like a white page here and another line. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I, but I don't know how, like, when I press the clear button, I, I can't figure out how to do that. So the clicking isn't working. You want to be able to click on it. I want to be able to click on the clear also. Uh, so where's your mouse click function? Let's see. I have mouse clicked here to, like, get it, but, like, it's here, keep pressed. Oh, my, my bad. Sorry. So you have to figure out the boundaries around that button, like, what where your mouse should yeah. be when you want it to re like clear the whole screen. So yeah, how should I do it? Like I put like that's what I have, which is uh, probably wrong. But still. Clear all. Why do you have? Clear all is this one, which is clear all is like the variable for this. I I don't know, but I think I figured out the issue. So what you can yeah. do from line ninety to ninety three, you can just replace that with the function clear all. 90 and 93. Just like literally empty out the most clicked function, delete all of that code, replace it with the clear. Oh no, clear all is the button. Clear all isn't the thing that it does. Clear all is the button, sorry. Yeah, yeah. it's cool. like this. Okay. Uh, okay, so what I would do um, above your mouse, uh, above line 90, in between lines 89 and 90, in between 89 and yeah. Make an if statement that says, if your mouse is in the clear box, and you'll have to use coordinates to tell. Mouse X is greater than this point, and mouse Y is greater than this point, et cetera. You can check by commenting out that line and using the coordinate picker. All right. So I use mouse X comment and mouse out, Y, right? Comment out line 90. Line 90, all right. Because that's the problem line right now. Then you get your coordinate picker, <clears throat> which is the triangle shape button, yep. Uh, and figure out how far left, right, up, and down does it have to be uh, to for the mouse to actually be on the button. All right. <laughs> up and, so I check the... 250, 325. Uh, so if mouse X is greater than 250, and mouse Y is greater than 200, 325, and then you'll want the bottom values as well. All right. You had to put and, right? And it's like, like, what is it, like this? Yeah, it's two ampersands. And then mouse y would be greater than the second number. And then to get the less than numbers, you do the other corner. Yeah. So we do 
here and we do the corner down or we do the corner here uh yeah the opposite corner like that all right so make sure right, you've got you. uh well then yeah. in your if statement if you close off your if statement in there you would um yeah put just just we'll i'll show you how to I'll, I'll trust you to put in the rest of the boundaries there yeah in that if statement yeah. you'd put your fill in your rect uh, lines 94 and 95 would go in 91 instead of where they are now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then you've got a double close quote. No, I guess. Can I leave? Yeah, you can leave. Anyone can leave whenever they want to. Uh, so yeah, you've got a double close quote. You won't need line 95 because you've got line 93. Yeah. And then I won't instead need this, of that, if, right? Yeah. Uh, make sure you keep line ninety nine. You will need line ninety nine. Yeah. So then put uh, else. I'm I'm just gonna set the boundaries here. Sorry. Yeah. No problem. Like I said, I don't have a student today. Oh, all right. Else. else. And wait and for here. Or here, do I separate the other corner with a, just a comma? No, you'll need and as well. Mouse X should oh, be right. greater than this and less than this, and mouse Y should be greater than this and less than this. Because and this, oh. and this, and this, and this. All right. All right, now I see, I see how it works. All right. Cool. Then if you click on the clear button, it makes it clear. Else, you don't need smooth brackets because its condition is not if. It's like whatever the if statement isn't. So you don't need the yeah parentheses on line 93. Instead, like get rid of those yeah. and put an open curly bracket. Oh, just like this? Yeah, just like that. And then in those curly brackets, it, this is uh. what happens if you're not clicking on clear then you would get the color, you'd use get, right? That's what you wanted when you click on a colorful dot. Yeah, Hi, wait, Alan. like, what do you mean? Like, Press enter. do I need an else statement? No, you don't. But if you want to um, have the, you know how you've got the colors along the bottom row? Yeah. You want to be able to click on them to get the color? Yeah. Then you do need an else statement. Oh. oh have right. a question. What's your question about them? I need help with my tic-tac-toe. Okay, uh, after I help Tim, can you wait for me to use the bathroom? Okay. So, so yeah. it, this if statement is saying, if your mouse is over the clear button, do one thing. Otherwise, set it to the color that's under your mouse. That's under my mouse, like these two? You just, you just use the get function, like you had before. You already had get. Uh, usually it gets its own line just for clarity of reading. <laughs> ah, all right. So else gets its own line. Uh, no, I, <laughs> Gotham, sorry, do you know I'm what sorry. I'm saying? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's okay. Um, you see how you've got if open bracket indent and that's where your code goes. Yeah. So, oh, all right. My bad. My bad. There we go. Oh my Yeah. God. Like that. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you could even, yeah. So get and then in brackets, put mouse X mouse Y because that's the position you're looking at to find the color. Uh, in that case, it's a comma because it takes two separate parameters. Huh. And the conditions are usually separated by operators like and or. Parameters separated by the comma. Or triple equal. And, yeah, it went or equal. You don't need brackets on the end of mouse X because it's just a variable. Uh, you do need a semicolon on the end of that line though. So get looks for color and spits it back in, out into the world. Uh, right now get is spitting it into the universe and nobody is catching it. We should catch it and store it in a variable. Um, what variable are you using to hold your fill color that you're drawing? My, my fill? I, I just like add them here to each box. Right, so when you press a number, 
it changes the fill color of the paint, right? Oh, yeah, right here. Like else if else if if this uh, is a key code, it changes to this color. Interesting. So okay, so just set the huh. Okay, uh, then I, I guess you would use surround the weird your Yeah, it's fine. So with your get, go back to your get. Yeah. Uh, put fill in front of the word get on the other side. Should be fill, open bracket, get. So we're good, we're putting fill around get, like it's hugging it. Yeah. That, okay, that should work. Try clicking on a, a color. You might have to like double click. I think I have here. <laughs> All right, let's see. How does it not work? Dang. Oh, did it work? No, I just pressed the button now. Let's click. If blah, blah, blah. that's why it's greater than and that's why it's that's why it's fill with white and then click in a rectangle at zero zero four hundred three fifteen. Yeah, that should work. I don't know why it isn't working. Uh, fill get why. Um let me open this up in my own code. God dang. We've got... Oh, wait, I just got what you meant by the else fill. All right, all right, yeah. <laughs> I was confused for a second, but I just got it. Basic enter. This oh, is, I think, I the wrong version of your account. Enter. Yes, this is the right one. Yeah. Oh, interesting. When I click, click, huh. Let me see. 150. Let me see. Mouse clicked. If mouse x greater than 150, mouse x is less than 328. Yeah, that should be fine. And mouse y is less than 351. Then set the fill to white and make a big rectangle up here. Let me just change the fill color just for experimentation purposes. All right. Huh. Mouse clicked. If the mouse is there, otherwise you click on a color and should. Okay. So well, the good news is get works. Uh, your night line ninety four works. I don't know why it's not putting up the big rectangle. You don't have a draw function, do you? Doesn't seem like you would. Uh, no, I don't think no, I do. You don't even. Have you need one. you. You need a draw function. No, he doesn't. It's working just fine. Okay. The problem is, we're trying to put a big. If if you click on the clear button, you should put a big white sheet over the drawings, and it's not doing that. Mm -hmm. I'm confused. Can I put a key code for the R? Uh, the key code is working. But we're trying to get it so when you click on clear, it should do the thing. You want, you want to see my? You want to see mine? Uh, if you want to share it and Tim's okay with that, you can do that. Yeah, can you just open it up? Cause I don't know how it's kind greater of greater than three twenty four, and mouse y is less than three fifty one. Well, let me and try mouse this. X is three. Can you get it, please? Fill the rectangle. Okay, I'm gonna take a break. I'll be back in two minutes. Okay. Okay, let me get my thing. All right. Is it on multi sharing? What? Is it on multi sharing? Because I need to share my screen. Oh, sorry, I'll stop sharing. Share screen. So here's mine. This is mine. Nice. Yeah. So, so you wanted to make it clear. So 
Okay. All right. Okay, so this is your drawer, Gotham? Yeah, this is my drawer. <laughs> I'm going to stop.